What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel today we are reviewing epic big time Zico the Brazilian legend and this is a difficult one to review man because there's so many different ways you can train him up but I think we've cracked it with the best possible training guide available we've actually got two that we're going to be talking through so we're going to have two different versions of Zico here um, that we're going to be showing you and yeah I mean look Zico is a beast man but he's very very unique player that you need to kind of train him up well so don't worry too much about like getting his overall up have a look at his player skills have a look at his stats you can see there what we want to complement with Zico is that classic number 10 if we want to play him a possession based player we're going to be using this uh, build here which I have here which I think is the best training guide uh, that's probably out there for a classic number 10 or a whole roll. So this suits possession-based players out wide. If you like to take a couple of dribbles, a couple of touches, and wait for the AI to make a move for you, this is what we're going to be training up, right? You can just copy it here. You can pause the video here and copy it. And what this is going to do is, right, you are kind of letting off a little bit of the offensive awareness. But what it's going to do is it means that you can still shoot. Look, you're going to be able to shoot shots like that. If you do shoot a lot, that is why we are upgrading the shooting so that you can curl. You have outside curler as well. And a lot of opponents back off you, especially, you know, big, big time opponents or uh, Division One opponents. They will back off you. So you'll see here when I'm playing against somebody good, when I get the ball in this position with Zico, where we've a pause here and circled, this is where Zico kind of plays between the lines when you don't have his offensive awareness over 90 from a lot of testing that I've done. So look, if you want to be scoring shots like this with Neymar, if you shoot a lot of shots like this and you're looking for a player to add that, if you have Messi or Neymar and you're used to shooting like this, you can obviously train the player up like with this training guide that I have here. This suits possession-based players that like well-rounded players um, and like to take their time on the ball and also can do everything right, pass, dribble, and shoot, right? The second build that we're going to have in a second is going to be slightly different. But yeah, this is what Zico is all about, right? Not everything is going to work, but it's all about getting into those lines and just mixing it up between the central midfielders or DMF, depending on what formation you're playing, and getting the ball out to him, you know, in positions that you actually can do damage, right? Because he's not going to be... He's not going to be running and dribbling like Neymar or Mbappe. You know, you're not going to be that direct unless you're playing quick counter and you use the second build. With this build, you will see here the lines that Zico takes. Like he's not running into the box. You can see there that he's just outside in that classic kind of number 10 uh, role. So I've seen people complain about Zico and say that he's not offensive enough for him, but I think it's because they've trained him wrong. You'll see the run in there. He kind of stops as well. So if you are looking for a player that will play and behave a little bit more attack-based or offensive, you need to use this training guide, which is the second one, which is more run and gun and touch and go. So if you do a lot of one-touch passing, if you play quick counter or long ball counter, um, this is the offensive build for Zico. So what we're going to do is we're pretty much going to max out his offensive awareness as much as we possibly can. And to do that, we have to upgrade his dexterity. So we're not going to focus too much on shooting and we're going to take a little bit off passing as well. I mean, 88 passing, even though the meta has changed quite a bit, 88 passing is still enough for an AMF to be, you know, slicing and dicing defenders. And what we're going to do is we're going to pump it up as much as we can, 11 into dexterity to get offensive awareness 92, balance 95, and acceleration 93. So what we'll be able to do with this eco is a lot more, uh, you know, kind of in line with traditional um, kind of like wingers that can also play as an AMF. So you're talking about Messi, you're talking about Neymar, that when he gets the ball at his feet, he's going to be more traditionally running into the box, following in his shots. And you'll see here, this is a good example of it. Lovely little pass in, and then he's just kind of sitting back a little bit, but he still ends up in the box. And this is probably the best example of it, right? This is the golden goal event that we're playing. And you will see that Zico, this is the offensive build from Zico here that we're using in most of these clips. And we're going to just spread the ball out. Now watch his position in here and watch where he ends up compared to the last couple of clips that we saw, right? We're going to get the ball here. We're going to lose it, but we're going to get it back with Makalele. And then we're going to be like rapid pass and touch. After this, we take a shot, but we're going to stay in there. We're going to touch pass and then we're in to Mbappe and the run is followed in so he's going to stay between those lines depending on your positioning and depending on your formation which we'll touch on in a bit but this is another classic example as well Mbappe gets the ball Zico's out wide this time I'll show you the formation that I'm using with him gets the, bat the ball back into Carlos he's going to create an opportunity to just get central again ball goes wide he cuts back central into that center midfield area lovely little touch here 
follows the ball in and watch where he ends up even though Neymar takes a shot on and we bang it in with Neymar but watch where Zico ends up it's in the box so yeah I mean this is what he's all about is just being you know patient and calm um like taking his chance and taking his time on the ball now the formation I was playing with Zico in a lot of these clips is quite uh I would say it's quite a meta one at the moment a lot of people are using this where we have you know our three AMFs and you can slot in whoever you really want there Zico is in that kind of central role so so effectively what we're going to be doing here is we are going to be running with two of our AMFs and we're going to be passing with one of our AMFs or else vice versa. If we're playing a possession based player, we're going to be more direct. If we're playing a really, really direct player, then we can sit on the ball, right? And we can just kind of take our time with it. So Zico goes up to a 100 here with the teammate playstyle boost and the playstyle proficiency boost as well as Neymar there. And then you've got Messi as well. Now we also will be testing out Guti. Guti was the epic player, but yeah, I mean, Zico is definitely a polarizing player. I've come up against him and he has done nothing against me. And I've also come up against players that have like, you know, been really patient with him and passing with him. He doesn't traditionally stand out to me as one of the top, top, top meta players. Um, there are a lot of standard players, I think, that can do a job similar to Zico, even though Zico has got insane stats. It feels like sometimes, you know, if he's got 90 ball control, it feels like he's kind of got like 85 or plays like 85 or 6. So it is kind of unusual that way. I think Kaka has the same problem. You know, Kaka does not feel like 97 acceleration when you have him on the ball. And I think that they've just kind of, they've balanced that a little bit with the players. But I think this formation is good, lads. If you are playing, you have a lot of flexibility. Zico is going to be traditionally um, less attacking because of his play style of a classic number 10. You could also, if you wanted to, you could put an anchoring on Zico if you wanted to keep him central instead of, you know, switching from left to right. When the ball is played left to right, you know, if you've got the ball with Carlos, Zico will just stay central if you've got anchoring on. So there's a lot that you can do off the pitch um, to control kind of his positioning. But yeah, look, if you're getting the ball in that little classic number 10 role and you're seeing all the clips here that you'll see, and we'll end with a couple of clips as well, uh, Zico can be an absolute maestro in midfield. You know, the Pedri... Iniesta type this is where he really comes into his own watch this so we're going to get the ball in this position and this is a perfect position because we can see that he's going to be rushed out by two players right we're one nil up this guy is rushing to get the ball back so we're going to just use every bit of space that we have on the pitch there's no real pass on here for us right so don't be afraid to go backwards sometimes I am working on an attacking and a passing tutorial a lot of people have been asking me but lads look with these reviews and that I don't just throw them out I spend a lot of time getting gameplay clips and testing everything because I want to give very accurate information by testing everything with different builds and doing things the way I think work you know what I mean without having to be a top 10 player in the world a lot of this information works so we just recycle there's where the balance comes in gets the ball back again touch and go boom into, into Mbappe and it's in the back of the net so for me lads I think that Zico is a very very good player but he is a difficult player he's not a kind of a pick up and play player I think you need to train him up and you know follow one of those two training guides that we have there either number one or either number two um and then just aside if you are a possession based player go with the possession build you know uh overcompensate with the passing and the dribbling and the shooting, if you want to have that in your arsenal, um, you could just reduce the shooting a tiny bit if you don't want it that high, if you're not going to be taking free kicks with him and you're not going to be taking that many shots, and you could pump it in to dribbling and ball control to get it into the mid-90s, um, or else you could, you know, do the speed acceleration type version of him. So that is it for me, lads. I tried to be as thorough as possible. I hope this helps you out if you do have Zico and you are struggling to get the best out of him. And let me know what you guys think. If you would like to see me do another in-depth review, I'm working on a lot of content lately. So that will be steadily coming out. Two videos a day for January. That's what we're planning. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the journey of our YouTube so far. Let me know any comments, feedback, suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helps you out. And I'll talk to you in a bit.